I'm Bill. And I'm Candace. And, and we're, we're the, the disruptors. disruptors. Hey, welcome to the show, Bill. I don't want to be here. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to take on a subject that I think is just exciting, but, well, kind of hard for me to restrain myself. Okay, so we're just going to ask for some restraint. Okay. We've talked, we've spent hours discussing hours. this, and um, I'm sure that our listening audience um, will be enlightened, awed, and inspired. And inspired. <laughs> Educated also, you know. I'll let you handle the education part. (laughs) Well, you know, one of the things that we're going to talk about, actually what we are going to talk about, the main thing, is SEO, search engine optimization. And as Bill is already biting both of his lips. So the reason why I think this is an important topic to discuss is because we've actually encountered several, um, let's just say charlatans. (laughs) Shall Interesting we? concepts, you know, yes. yes. Um, on, you know, really taking full advantage of the ignorant. And so uh, ignorance isn't a bad thing. It just means you don't know about a certain topic. Yeah, you don't and know what you don't know. You don't know. And there's, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And so what we're wanting to do with this episode is debunk SEO and really dial it, dialing it down to really what it is. So had a conversation uh, this last week about um, a web development company that wanted to charge. Uh, they were developing a website for one of our clients, and then they wanted to charge an additional uh, $1,700 for SEO. And so um, the individual had challenged me, do I even understand what SEO is? And, you know, sometimes it, you know, it just kind of hit that last nerve for me, <laughs> just, just kind of ran over you like a truck. <laughs> and I thought, okay, we're going to get something real clear, real quick here. SEO years ago, okay, was a completely separate field. It was a completely separate um, action, motion, different intentions. Um, and let's make this perfectly clear: if you are developing your website, everything on your website is SEO. Because of the way Google has done their analytics and how they're pulling that information, please correct me, um, our little website guru over there, um, that your content is SEO. <laughs> I mean, yes, uh, your meta tags, um, you know, your ad words and all of that other stuff is added into that, but you know, your blog posts that lead back to your website, it's SEO. That's Absolute, all yeah, SEO. Yes. Your social media that leads back to the website, SEO. Your, um, everything you click on is SEO. Okay, well, Bill is it, actually it, it, wrinkling it, his little <laughs> lips over here. No, I, I think, I think I, you know, I get really excited over this because you're absolutely right. Ten years ago, SEO was extremely important. It was, and it was different. It was a different animal. It's a whole different thing. We have advanced ourselves through technology. Uh, Now, I read in Forbes magazine that most of the real people that know the internet functions say, and I quote, if the web designer puts together your website correctly, you don't need to have or hire an SEO. You're absolutely right, especially now with artificial intelligence, right. which is pulling that data off of your website and and you know drawing that information to further your digital reach. Absolutely, and there's different techniques and simple things that Google, for instance, looks at movement. They look at video. They look at movement. They look at content. The old days, it which was is really, all SEO, which is all SEO. Now the old days was really heavy on content. They didn't pay a whole lot of difference to the video aspect. But now as we've developed and we're changing, uh, there's a lot more video on our websites. We all know that video is very important for our social media platforms. Well, and let's make something really clear. That if you put on a video, you should also have that video transcribed below where then that way you've actually got content of that video as well. And that still is... That piece is still in play where it's not just audio only. That is correct, um, yes. And it, so it's worth getting um, that transcribed. So many of our listeners, if you're not transcribing that, remember there are services out there so you don't have to transcribe it yourself. Um, hire someone. It's cheap. It's inexpensive. Oh, it's and it's, inexpensive a, it's a wonderful investment because your time is worth more 
than transcribing an audio file, for heaven's sakes. And I, I always look at it, too, like a wheel. You've got the hub or the center of the wheel, which is the website. Then you've got your social media platforms. The wheel has to have spokes around the outside perimeter with that information that comes back to the website. Your blog should point you back to the website. Yes. Your video back to your website. Unfortunately, we have individuals that sell the idea <clears throat> that for a few major dollars per month, they can come up with all this trick stuff. That, news hacking. Uh, yeah, news hacking. Oh, there's a whole there's a whole Cook list. Farms, news hacking, all uh, kinds all of things. neat techniques that don't do you any good but empty your wallet. Mm -hmm. It's kind of simple as that. With the, the if you're going to get on and you're going to work in the internet, then Go to people that know how to put together a website, for starters. Well, and, you know, you're creating yourself a digital ecosystem. Um, you know, this is one of the things that we do with our with our clients is that we actually create that ecosystem with them and show them that, strate that strategy. Um, that's why Wild Child is not just, you know, business consulting or a business coach. I don't necessarily like to use even that term, um, but we're strategists. And the reason why is because we help Companies develop that ecosystem. So if it goes out, it has to come back. And one of the things that I find in almost every single um, client that we've, that we've dealt with is that it's, their social media goes out and a lot of it does not, not come, come back. back. Nope. Their website can even go out, you know, but it doesn't come back, you know. So, and what, what, what am I, what do I mean by that? I'm glad you asked, Bill. <laughs> I was getting ready to. I know, it, it was riveting there. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you're going to do a newsletter, you know, give us this information. Um, but then it doesn't click back to, but what am I getting? Am I getting a newsletter? Is this just for email updates, different things like that? Everything, what comes in must go out and come back. So um, SEO is very much like that. And, and it's very important to understand links, being able to link your social media back to your website. If you're doing podcasts, link those back to your website. Also, don't forget to use it on social media platforms. With your clientele, are you finding them having a hard time remembering to link it back? I think that one of the problems that I'm having is, yes, they do have a hard time linking it back. For some reason, they think that a podcast is more a social media thing. It has nothing to do with the web page, actually. Um, we are doing some experimenting with what's called audiograms. And that's where you have a visual picture that catches your eye with a little squiggly line or a bar, you know, squiggles. And down below, actually printing out the words as they're being spoken. We're using motion to move the picture in the content to keep your eyeballs screwed right to that screen so you're absorbing what they're trying to tell you. We love to do that and I think for introductions to other podcast shows because instead of having a whole 30 minutes or 40 minutes of that type of a, a format, all of a sudden you're watching this and then you get interested. Wow, I think I'll go to iHeart. This really sounds like a subject that I want to hear about. Or these people on this podcast, I really, I really want to get to know more about what they're doing. This draws them from your social media. And if you have your podcast hosts sitting down on your website, where are they going to end up at? They're going to go to the website to find the podcast, which gives you a whole new viewing audience and brings you into the content of what the website's about. We're building a relationship. Now, when we get to the podcast, we're hearing the individual person's voice. We've seen what they look like. We've seen their, their whole web page. I'm interested in doing business with them. I feel like I know them. Well, so I want to go back to the, the conversation that I had because what we ended up doing was they ended up, wink, wink, giving my client that $1,700 of SEO because I had confronted the fact that if they're building the website correctly, SEO is already in the website. Absolutely. Between the blog posts, between the newsletter, Correct. between the video, between the different content. Because it's all moving. Because it's all moving. Um, between the different highlighted, the highlighted, you know, um, content. Links where that leads, that, yeah. where then that, you know, whenever you're reading an article and all of a sudden, uh, let's say Shop Now mm -hmm. comes up mm -hmm. and it takes you to... To their to page, page, to a different landing page or something along those lines. And yeah, so, absolutely. Um, you know, 
there's a lot to know, but I don't want our listeners to be stolen from this year on SEO unless, you know, uh, that's something that they require. Um, but I'm going to go back to if their website is developed enough and it is got enough content in it, they don't need a special SEO Every month company clicking their you know, dollars. that's 800 bucks a month or whatever that is. For and I, I think also it's interesting. You'll find out that Google and everybody that's talking about it says, listen, take your website. Key factor. Once the website is built, wonderful. But every four to six months, change it around. Get somebody, hire somebody that's your web designer or whatever to come back change the coloring, change well, the function. I, I know we're not talking about websites, but I, I want to stop right there because every single business, I don't care what your business is. It could be the 7-Eleven store on the corner or whatever. You know, it could be a bodega that you own. Mm-hmm. You still have specials. Oh, absolutely. Okay, every single month, your content should change. And absolutely. I know it's a lot of work. But you know what? You're already hiring somebody to maintain your website. Yes. Why don't you give them something to do? Absolutely. Which means, hey, by the way, you know, I don't know, we got Twinkies on three for a buck or whatever right. it might be. You know, oh, by the way, you know, our oil, our oil lube special is this. Yes. It takes time to sit down because you want to quantify all of it. But at the end of the day... It's creating your SEO. It's building content. Um, it's building content. It's building, you know, Google recognizing that hey, you're you're moving and shaking over there. It um, it adds to the fact that you're moving up from you know 162 to oh my gosh, you're on the first page. Absolutely. You might might not be number one. You can actually make a better decision on running Google ads or Facebook ads or whatever those ads might be digitally. Mm-hmm. It's a big difference. And the problem is that the general public gets snowed under by people that come back and say, you have to have SEO because. And nobody can really figure out the because. The problem is that our people aren't educated. So they're going to sit there and, oh, because I got I to got, I got have it. I got to have it. They don't need it if their site is developed right. Absolutely. So, <laughs> so you're going right. to pay a guy Oops. 200 or $300 a month to just sit there and stare at your page. Well, and let, let's clarify something. Everybody needs SEO if they want their website to be hit. So we need to make sure that they know, hey, you know, yes, you do need SEO. But, yes, if your website is built correctly... The SEO is already built in because you're going to be making changes all the time. Right. Your blogs, your blogs. I mean, but there's there's a difference between somebody maintaining your website and these clowns that are running around with SEO on their undershirts. Uh, Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and we've we've actually challenged several of them. Yes, we have, Bill. And so, um, in that regard, you know, uh, and it's not challenging them uh, to just say. You know, is this a viable business? But challenge, challenging them that they are they are giving a you know a fair product with a fair wage to business people that are already strapped financially as to what their marketing dollars uh, warrant. Mm-hmm. And when you've got where marketing dollars are, you know, more and more challenging. It, in a sense, wink, wink. It's cheaper. You don't have to make a you know seven thousand dollar investment like mm-hmm. you had to make years ago. Years ago, you did. You know, yes, but not where now. now you can actually you have the the resources and the the technology. different options, right? Yeah. Because of technology, to okay, I want to you know there's a there's a new well it's not new but there's a patch right Puyallup patch, patch you mm-hmm. know Tacoma patch Bonnie Lake patch that is actually, it's affordable that you could do ads off of. Mm -hmm. There's local sponsorships that um, you can actually invest in. Matter of fact, you you can invest in podcast sponsorships that's a little bit different. I mean, that it won't, you don't have to sell your children, right? You don't have to go away to to the blood bank. Um, And invest in, but the message that we wanted really primarily for this show, and that is that, Web, your website, you're already investing the money in a website. You're already investing in the maintenance. Absolutely. You're already investing in you know your email and whatever you're posting on there. You have a decision. You can make that website be really a workhorse for you. Mm-hmm. and Or it can just sit there. And, and 